one of the things that Doug wrote about recently is fiber only uh, networks. And the uh, Doug, why don't you tell us what this is and, and what's important here? Almost everywhere you go, the government owns fiber networks. They're for connecting schools, for connecting the buildings in a city, for traffic lights. I mean, there are all sorts of reasons they own these fiber networks. Vast majority of them don't have any commercial people on the network. And a lot, and most of them have a whole lot of empty fiber. So they'll build a 96 fiber, use 12 of them, and the other 80 are just sitting there, right? And, and they do this for years. And this is the same time when all these cities are saying, we'd like someone to bring us solution to these cities, or we'd like to get broadband out to the rural areas. I was working with the county who complained about that. And then I found that they had this giant countywide network. And they didn't even bring that up as part of the conversation. It's like, you already go to those parts of the county. And they're like, we do? Like, yes, you do. Uh, th the fact is, there's just a huge amount of an untapped asset. Now, a lot of it's not useful because it's not going where someone wants to go. But if it was all made available, people would lease it. They could give it away, you know. Well, and, and even so the all, cities yeah. would use it more. Even right. the cities would use it more. The cities right. don't even know that the asset is. Like, the, right. the electrical department might be using it, but the oh, somebody no. else on the other side the might traffic be using the traffic. The traffic lights might be hooked Absolutely. up with the network that no one else in the city is using. That's exactly Absolutely. what you're seeing. It's crazy. And so we're just sitting on this giant untapped asset. Some of it was not allowed to be used because of the way it got funded, which means the Comcast and AT&T guys got into the writing of the contract of the funding. You know, it's literally it's a prohibition against it. Most of it, it's not under those kind of restrictions. It's just sitting empty. Um, and, and it's just it's just a waste of a natural natural government resource it's there's no right. and, then, and then you also have the potential of using a program like e-rate to build a new yeah. network that would get around town and work with a company i mean this is something that i would yeah. have loved to see travis do in saint paul where he would work with the city to um you know to build out to all the schools um also build out to the city's anchor institutions and then have a network throughout the city that he mostly didn't have to pay for and then be able to expand to the home from there right right but local governments just aren't doing that and when you try to talk to them about it their eyes glaze over <laughs>